kids in this video we will learn about use of appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects when chanda went on a trip with the villagers she wrote the length of some items on a paper today while chanda was cleaning her house the paper was accidentally torn now chanda is unable to understand which is the measure of what now chanda quickly wrote the names of the objects and places that were written on that paper on another paper like this she then picked up a piece of paper from those pieces of paper with 1 meter length written on it kids can you tell which of these items can be 1 meter in length absolutely correct peanuts and shoe are much smaller than 1 meter it is possible that the length of the mat is 1 meter hence the correct answer is length of the mat now chanda found these two pieces of paper on which 4 cm and 22 cm were written now can you match the length of the remaining two objects with their correct lengths you can find the answer by pausing the video well done kids you have found the answers to them because the length of the peanut is much smaller than that of the shoe length of peanut will be 4 cm and shoe length will be 22 cm kids if chanda had written the distance between the railway station and the well on a paper which of the following could it be if you want you can pause the video and find the answer well done kids you have found the right answer because the distance from the railway station to the well is very long we cannot measure it in centimeters therefore the distance from the railway station to the well will be 3 kilometers after all chanda got all the measurements written by her to match see how she's dancing happily children in this video we learned about which units can be used to measure the length or distance between objects in the next video we will learn more about it with some interesting examples kids in the previous video we learned to use the appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects in this video we will learn more about it with some interesting examples raju's father asks him to bring a piece of cloth for his shirt from the duck uncle's shop on the way Raju met Bablu and they went to the park to play. Raju totally forgot about bringing the cloth for his father's shirt. When he was returning home, he remembered that he had to go to the uncle's shop. But he only remembered the number 2 from the measurements his father had given him. Kids can you tell Raju 
that what units should be used to measure the cloth for his father's shirt? Centimeters, meters or kilometers? Which one should be used? Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. Raju should use meter for the piece of cloth for his father's shirt. Because the 2 cm measure would be too short and 2 km would be too long. Raju immediately reached the uncle's shop and bought a 2 meter long cloth for his father. When Raju was returning home, in a shop on the way, he saw a computer monitor like this. On the monitor, the screen size was written in this way. But only the number 45 was written below that. Raju came to know that the length of the screen of the monitor was 45. But Raju did not understand which unit was used for it. Children, can you tell for the length of the monitor screen which unit should be used next to 45? Absolutely correct! Because both 45 meters and 45 kilometers would be very long. Raju should write the length of the computer screen using centimeter. So in this way, what would be the screen length of the monitor? 45 centimeter. Now Raju was about to reach his house. Just then, on the way, he saw it was written on a stone plate on the ground. Pampapur 40 But the unit below was erased. Raju started thinking that the distance from Pampapur to there was written on that stone. Now which unit should be written in front of 40 so that the people going there can get the correct idea of distance to Pampapur? Kids, can you help Raju? Well done kids! You have found the correct answer. Because the distance between places is very long. We cannot write them using centimeters or meters. Hence, the distance from there to Pampapur will be 40 kilometers. Raju found the right answer with your help. Then, he took a piece of coal and wrote 40 kilometers in this way and return to his home. Kids, in this video, we have learned about some interesting examples in which appropriate unit is used to measure the length or distance between objects. Kids, today we will learn about what is centimeter and why it is used. Chanda was so happy after learning from Appu about measuring length of things. She started measuring the length of everything with a rope. One day, when Appu came to her house to eat, he saw that Chanda has made a pile of ropes in the corner of her house. 
and on every rope something like the name of TV, table, spoon etc. was written. Appu was shocked to see this. When he asked Chanda, she told him that she had measured the length of various objects in her house with the help of ropes. Appu laughed. He asked Chanda a question. Suppose if you are outside the house and you have to measure the length of something and if you don't have any rope, what would you do? Chanda thought for a while but had no answer to Appu's question. Appu then asked her another question. If you want to tell the length of an object to someone and that person is not in front of you, then tell me how will you tell him the length of the object? Chanda also had no answer to this question of Appu. Do you have answer to these questions of Appu? No. No problem. Come, see what Appu is telling Chanda about these questions. Appu told Chanda that she can solve all these problems in a very easy way. With the help of centimeters, Chanda could not understand anything. She immediately asked Appu, What is a centimeter? A centimeter is a unit of measuring length. We can measure the length of any object in centimeters and centimeter is a unit that is always the same. Now Chanda told Appu that she understood about centimeters but how can she use it? And how can she measure the length of objects? She still has not understood that. What did Appu answer to Chanda? And how can we use centimeters to measure the length of objects? We will see this in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learnt what is centimeters and why we use it. In the next video, we will learn about some interesting examples of how we can use centimeters. Kids, in the previous video, we learned about what is a centimeter and why we use it. In this video, we will learn about some interesting examples on use of centimeters. Do you remember kids? In the previous video, Appu told Chanda about centimeter. Come, let's see what he is telling Chanda about the use of centimeters. Appu took out a plastic strip like this from his bag and placed it on the table in front of Chanda. Chanda asks him, What is this plastic strip? And how can I use it to measure the length of objects in centimeters? Appu starts telling Chanda, this is a ruler. Can you see the numbers written and these lines drawn on it? The difference between any two consecutive numbers written on it is equal to 1 cm. Appu then asked Chanda to collect some items from her house whose length she wanted to measure. Chanda immediately collected those items and brought them. 
Appu first picked up a spoon of chanda. He placed the spoon next to the ruler in this way and said, "Look, your spoon is 12 cm long." Chanda could not understand how Appu found this out. Appu said to her, "Whenever you have to measure the length of any object you place it next to the ruler in this way and start measuring from 0 the number which is reaching the other end of your object the length of your object will be that centimeter Chanda got really excited about the ruler. She immediately took the ruler from Appu and placed her TV remote next to the ruler. Chanda told Appu, "Look Appu, my TV remote is 10 cm long. I learned to measure the length of objects from the ruler." After saying this, Chanda started dancing happily. Kids, here are some items of Chanda's house. Can you tell how many centimeters their length is? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids. You have found the right answer. Chanda thanks Appu for telling her about the ruler and centimeter and puts the pile of ropes in her house in a cupboard Kids in this video we learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeters in the next video we will see some common mistakes related to this kids in the previous video we learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeter in this video We will see some common mistakes related to this concept. Chanda became very happy after learning about the ruler from Appu. She measured her spoon again with a ruler. But uh, what is that? Chanda got the length of the spoon as 13 cm this time. Chanda started wondering How it happened when Appu measured the length of that spoon it was 12 cm then how did it become 13 cm today kids can you tell what mistake chanda has made here yes this time when chanda measured the length of the spoon She started measuring the length by 1 instead of starting from 0. So, 1 cm in length of spoon was added. Keep in mind kids, whenever we are measuring the length of any object with a ruler, then we should always keep in mind that we start measuring the length by the zero number chanda realized her mistake and measured the spoon from number zero and this time she got the length of the spoon exactly 12 cm as before now chanda wants to get a skirt made for herself chanda is thinking why not measure her waist using the ruler too 
she immediately placed the ruler next to her waist in such a way and wrote on a paper that her waist measure is 5 cm kids did chanda measure her waist properly chanda has taken the wrong measurement of her waist kids if we want to measure any curved object we cannot measure it by placing it next to the ruler because we cannot measure its full length by doing so its curved portion and rear side measure are omitted and the ruler can also break then how do we do this suppose we have to measure the waist of chanda so we will first measure her waist with a rope then we will put that rope next to the ruler what is the measurement of this rope it is the right size of the waist of chanda in this way how many centimeters is the correct measurement of chanda's waist 20 cm when chanda reached out to babble uncle with her own measure he also explained to chanda about the mistake that she made chanda became very happy after learning this new thing now she measured her waist properly and got a beautiful skirt made from uncle babel see how beautiful she looks in her new skirt kids in this video we learned about some common mistakes related to measurement of length in centimeters kids today in this video what is kilometer and why use kilometer is what we learn about everyone from the village are going on a trip it was decided that in the morning they would gather near the village well and board a bus together from there for the trip but chanda did not know the way to the well from her house she immediately called appu and asked him the way appu asked her to look at the trip map that they were given hey can you spot your house in the map tell me So now you have to come 2 kilometers straight from there and then you will reach the well okay Chanda thought that she heard Appu wrong she told Appu I think you mistakenly said 2 kilometers in place of 2 meters you do remember right Now I know all about meter. On hearing this, Appu laughed. <laughs> Chanda, I did say two kilometers. Okay. Chanda was surprised. I have understood about centimeter and meter. Now, what is this kilometer? Appu explained it to Chanda. Look Chanda since the distance between the two places is a lot we cannot measure them in centimeters or meters centimeters and meters are units of measuring length similarly kilometers is the unit to measure 
द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू प्लेसेस वन किलोमीटर इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मीटर्स अपू तोल चंदा लुक कैन यू सी गोलूज डेयरी ऑन द मैप द डेयरी इज थ्री किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम द बस स्टॉप चंदा क्विकली नोटिस द प्लेसेस ऑन हर मैप एंड आल्सो सॉ द डिस्टेंस रिटन बिटवीन देम नाउ चंदा सेड टू अपू अपू आई कैन से योर हाउस एंड माइन ऑन द मैप टू एंड फोर किलोमीटर्स इज रिटन बिटवीन योर हाउस एंड माय हाउस सो इज माय हाउस फोर किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम योर हाउस Yes Chanda you have read the map correctly very good Chanda said to Appu But Appu if 1 km is equal to 1000 meters then we will not be able to measure it with a measuring tape or a ruler so how can we measure the distance between two places You cannot measure a kilometer with a measuring tape or a ruler. Special resources are used for this, okay? You can only find the distance between two places by the distances written on the signs on the road. All right. Well, tomorrow when we go for the trip, then I will look at these signs carefully. When you meet me tomorrow then tell me more about the kilometer okay okay appu said and then disconnected the call how was the trip of the villagers the next day and what else did appu tell chanda about kilometer we will see this in the next video kids today in this video what is kilometer and Why is kilometer used is what we learned about in the next video we will learn more about kilometer with some interesting examples kids in the previous video We learned what are kilometers and why we use it. In this video, we will learn more about kilometers by some interesting examples. The next day, all the village people gathered near the well. There was some time left for the bus to arrive. Chanda then showed Appu a map of his outing. and asked him to tell her more about the kilometer children have you seen a map before maps often include places and distances between them come let's see what else appu is telling chanda about this map look at this chanda we will start from the well and first we will go to the fair as i told you on the phone yesterday you can see the distance from here to the fair on the map see the distance is written on the map as 3 kilometers appu said to chanda kids can you see this map and tell how many kilometers away from the fair is the lake absolutely right the distance from the fair to the lake is 1 kilometer now chanda saw on the map that the distance from the lake to the railway station is 4 kilometers and that of the park from the lake is 2 km now chanda is thinking that which place is closer to the lake 
रेलवे स्टेशन और पार्क किड्स कैन यू हेल्प चंदा फाइंड द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड फाइंड द आंसर वेल डन किड्स The answer you found is correct. Because two kilometers is less than four kilometers, hence the park is closer to the lake. Appu asks Chanda to answer a question. If uncle's house is seven kilometer from the park and Bablu's house. is 5 kilometers away then whose house is more distant from the park children do you know the answer to appu's question yes since 7 kilometer is greater distance than 5 kilometers uncle's house is at more distance than the park Chanda to quickly found the answer to Appu's question just like you. She danced happily knowing more about the kilometer. Then the bus arrived there and all the villagers boarded the bus and set out on their trip. Kids, in this video we learned more about kilometers. with some interesting examples in the next video we will see some common mistakes related to this kids in the previous video we learned more about kilometer with some interesting examples In this video we will see some common mistakes related to this Raju and Bablu are going to play at Chanda's house Raju tells Bablu that his house is closer to Chanda's house but Bablu is arguing with Raju that their two houses are at equal distances from chanda's house raju asks bablu how far is his house from chanda's house bablu tells him that his house is 5 kilometers away from chanda's house then bablu asks him how far is his house from chanda's house Raju said at a distance of 5 meters children can you tell me is it right even though in the distance numbers of raju and bablu's houses five are the same the distance unit of raju's house is in meters and the distance unit of bablu's house is kilometers and kids you do know which one of these two units is bigger don't you yes kilometer is a larger unit than meter because 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so whose point is correct right raju's argument is right his house is closer to chanda's house kids remember that whenever we have to compare distances or lengths then we should compare not only their numbers but also their units now bablu told raju even though his house is farther from chanda's house but it is definitely closer to golu's house 
His house is two kilometers away from Golu's house, and Raju's house is fifty meters away from Golu's house, and two less than fifty. Therefore, his house is closer to Golu's house. Kids, what do you think? Is Bablu's point correct this time? Yes. Bablu is wrong again. This time, the number in the distance from Golu's house to Bablu's house two is lesser than the number in the distances from Golu's house to Raju's house. That is fifty. But once again, Bablu did not pay attention to their units when comparing the distances. His house is two kilometer from Golu's house, and Raju's house is fifty meters from Golu's house. Even though two is less than fifty, but because The meter is smaller than kilometer. Raju's house is closer to Golu's house. Bablu finally understood Raju, and both of them went to play at Chanda's house. Kids, in this video, we saw some common mistakes. related to measuring distances in kilometers